we need you to be the voice of a democracy that'll survive. Can't survive if all you can do is parrot the political narrative of the establishment. That is a democracy in decline. So get back to reporting everything, both sides, passionately. L.A. Sheriff, uh, County Sheriff there, Alex Villanueva lost <laughs> in his run uh, against Robert Luna to be to, to stay sheriff there. Uh, and if you've heard anything about Alex Villanueva, you've understood that uh, it was a reign of terror, I guess, unless you were part of the groups that he was a part of. Yeah, we heard some pieces about this. Let's go into some of those though. He lost that election, wasn't feeling too good. But this is what he was doing when he was feeling pretty good. It was a four year term and he ended after all this misconduct, abuse, corruption and all these scandals. Let's get into some of those. Villanueva faced increasing national security for his frequent, at times weekly, lashing out at politicians, community leaders, journalists, whistleblowers, watchdogs and other law enforcement officials who tried exposing problems at the department. Pause for a second since we were just talking about bad apples in police departments. Uh, some of the good apples, I guess, that people assume are there, were trying something. Every time a good apple tries something in the police department, they definitely get ousted, run off, and um, told never come back here. But when you do bad things, you get busted, you just get hired somewhere else. Think about how that tracks. Let's continue on. Under this regime, he also had officers engaging in gang related activity. So Villanueva has also accused, is also been accused of engaging in the same kind of cover-ups as his predecessors. While the county's inspector general has recently identified dozens of current deputies believed to be members of the officer cliques or gangs, which are known for engaging in brutality. Villanueva has, has defied subpoenas to testify on this issue. And he also issued legal threats aiming to prevent officials from using the term deputy gang. He doesn't like the term, uh, maybe he should. Do something about the actions. Also, there was some beating of some prisoners as well too. It was a laundry list. A whistleblower also claimed that he had personally directed a cover up of an incident in which jail guards knelt on the head of a handcuffed man. The sheriff oh. dismissed the allegations in the lawsuit and described former staffers suing him and the department as, you can guess it, disgruntled employees. That that's that's always the case, no matter what, from news organizations to police departments. Anybody who blows the whistle or says this is what happened, they're just disgruntled employees. There's more, because back in September, he also raided a county supervisor's home. You guys heard a little bit about this. So back in September, armed sheriff's deputies raided the home of the county supervisor, Sheila Kuehl, who serves on a sheriff's oversight committee and has been a vocal critic. That's the problem. LASD said it was investigating a county contract and potential bribery and seized her phone and personal computer. But the LA District Attorney's Office said it was not involved in the search and it also investigated the claims last year and found no cause for any charges. You know, and people have a right to be safe in their homes. They have a right for their property to be safe, even when part of their home may be torn away. And these looters, that's unacceptable, absolutely unacceptable. I would highly suggest that if a looter breaks into your home, comes into your home, while you're there to steal stuff, that you take your gun and you shoot him. You shoot him so that he looks like grated cheese. Because you know what? That's one looter that won't break into anyone else's home and take advantage of them when they're the most vulnerable and the most weak. There's Chef Grady Judd talking about looters coming in people's homes after Hurricane Ian. Make them look like grated Cheese, keep that in mind, shoot them on sight. If you think they're looters, shoot them, who cares? When you give people broad authority like this, you have no idea in what, under what circumstances their mindset is in, especially after the disaster, and also who they think are looters, which has also of course been influenced by society too. But I just wanna make a, a, a small point here because I get petty with these things. Um, if you shoot someone up, they probably don't look like grated cheese. That's more if you shred them. They're gonna mm. look like Swiss cheese if you shoot them. Get it right first, Grady. Anyways, uh, there's the another ironic part about this whole thing though. As you see, he's talking about if you see someone approach your door, get to shooting them because it's your door, it's your domain. 